Hello everybody, so today I wanted to do a quick little empties video and just kind of talk about some products I have finished up. Um, not too many here, but just figured it would be fun to go through. So the first product I have finished is the Toka Tocha Florence um, fragrance. I got the big size of this after trying the mini like probably two-ish years ago and I love this scent. It is a delicious jasmine scent, very fresh, very floral, very like true to um, the scent itself and I just think it's great. It's a really refreshing scent. Thing about fragrances that is um i've kind of learned about myself is i definitely like cycle through and you know this reminds me of such a specific time in my life that it's not a fragrance i want to keep repurchasing not that it's like a bad time or anything but you know it just is kind of it just reminds me of a specific time and i like having that like sort of scent memory so really enjoyed it. I think it's a great fragrance. Um, if you like jasmine, if you like floral scents, I think that is a really good one. Next up, I have the Kapari Golden Aura Body Oil. So I actually broke <laughs> this, as you can see, which is kind of gross. So I was so happy to finish this up. I really enjoy this. I love body oils. I find them to be very moisturizing and just give like a specific type of moisture that I think um, like body butters can't really give on its own so I love mixing them together like doing a body oil and then um, like a body butter on top um, I thought this was a really good one a little bit expensive but um, I actually bought a backup in the Ulta like, 21 days of beauty sale or whatever they call it now so that definitely helps make it a little more affordable it's a really like um, light scent, which is really good because I found the L'Occitan or however you say that brand to be like a very intense almondy scent. So this one's really enjoyable, very light absorbs quickly. Um, it does have like a bit of a, like as it's a 24K gold sort of thing. So I don't know, I find that to be kind of odd, but if, if you like that idea, it, it's in that. Next, I have the Hello Good Stuff Glow Serum Primer by Essence. I have, there's like a little bit left, but it is not like, you can't get anything out. Like it's just kind of like a little coating of the bottom there. So decided to call it, call it quits on this. This is fine. Um, I don't really like find myself like super enamored with niacinamide. And that is kind of like a big ingredient here. So I ended up using this on my feet, which is so funny just to finish it up because it is a really intense watermelon scent, but yeah, I don't have anything like bad to say about it. I don't think it like broke me out. I just was kind of like meh about it. And I also feel like the hype kind of faded from this product and the product it was trying to dupe. So, you know, not as interesting for me. Next we have a mini, this is the e.l.f. Suntouchable Woe Glow Broad Spectrum SPF. So this is the dupe for the Super Goop Glowy Sunscreen, which I love. And I think this is a phenomenal product, phenomenal dupe. The only issue is this is 30 SPF and the Halo Glow one has 50. So definitely something to keep in mind. My it's funny because I think they're very similar. Um, however, my Woe Glow has like separated, or not my Woe Glow, the uh, Halo, whatever it's called, the Super Goop one has separated. And in a really weird way, like it's kind of gross and I've tried shaking it up and I've tried like combining it in the tube and out of the tube and it just like appears to have fully separated, which is crazy because it's like, I don't know, a 30 to $40 product to separate. So. I'm a lot more like into this. I feel like the glow is a little more manageable and it's so much cheaper. And I don't know, I just really enjoy this product. So I think I'll be repurchasing this in all honesty. And the mini was, it lasted for a long time. Um, I like totally used it up. So I really like that. Next we have the Maybelline Sky High Lash Sensational Mascara. This is, um, I've had this for way too long, but I love this mascara. I think it's one of my favorites. 
I will say this is not a tubing mascara, which is definitely like making it hard for me to want to repurchase it because I just prefer tubing mascaras so much. I also have just some really great mascaras in my collection at the moment, so I'm not feeling like super needing to repurchase this at the moment, but this is a phenomenal mascara. It lasts really well on like nights out, in the winter when your eyes are watering. Like this is the mascara I would always turn to for like formals and events like that. So. I do highly recommend this and it is slash was my favorite mascara but I think just because I have so many other options that I'm kind of working through at the moment and in general I am kind of looking for a tubing mascara that I love as much as this that this is not first on my list to repurchase but I could see myself repurchasing in the future but yeah that is a product I've used up I've had it for at least like two years so it was time to go because I know that's gross Next, we have the Maybelline Build a Brow. So I used up the like gel on this and frankly, the other product is not like used up, but I just think this is such a bad product and this does not work for me at all. So it is time for me to move past it because <laughs> it is actually just like frustrating. Um, I bought this off a recommendation of, I think it was Allie Glines, and I don't know, this just is not working for me. I totally believe it works for her. The gel felt like nothing on my brows and felt like it did nothing. And then the brow product just never, it, I don't know, it's just not like pigmented enough to make it look like hair, which, you know, maybe you would think that's a good thing. Like, oh, it's kind of you know, light and it looks like hair, but it just, it doesn't end up looking that way. It's just too sheer, too flimsy to really like get a brow looking stroke on it. So I just really dislike this product. I don't think it's good. And you know, the gel was like a little more intriguing to me because it did feel so light and it didn't kind of have that crusty appearance, but it's so little product for like what probably a $16 product as a whole that this is not worth it at all. So not repurchasing, not a fan. The last product I have is the Kosa's Airbrow. So I got this in the like little birthday set this year and um, I was really excited to try it. I think it is a fine product. Um, you know, the typical things, this smells like kind of rank right now because Kosa's are not meant, they're clean products, so they go bad really quickly. I had a lot of the same issues I've had with other products where or with other brow products where it just gets like crusty and white on the brows so probably won't repurchase this um it's not as bad as some other products i have been using but yeah i don't know i just don't feel strongly about this and the fact that it's clean beauty and it goes bad so quickly makes me think makes me just automatically like not as interested in it because you know if you're spending like 20 bucks or more on these products like I want them to last more than a couple months, especially when I have like such a big makeup collection where, you know, I do have other products to use and other colors and other formulations that it's very rare. I'm gonna, sorry, <laughs> it's very rare. I'm gonna go through it so quickly. So yeah, it's probably not, probably won't be purchased, but I'm really glad I got to try it out in the birthday set. So those are the products I have finished up at the moment. Um, these will all be tossed. And yeah, I feel like, you know, I kind of want to do videos about this more because I am hoping to kind of like go through products in my collection instead of just like keeping them forever. I want to like cycle through stuff and enjoy it. So yeah, I'm hoping to do this more and I'm going to kind of like collect the products I do finish. And you know, when I have something to talk about, I'll do a video. So hopefully that was somewhat interesting and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.